not an expert, clearly. If this is not your sign to clean out your closet, I don't know what is. If you want to see a massive closet clean out, definitely watch to the end of this video. Go from this to now this, because clearly it needs some help. Hi, welcome to the channel. Today is the day that I actually finally clean out my closet because it's been a long time coming and I know I've done a couple videos. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below that I did go through some certain pieces. This closet that is literally overflowing. I have some clothes on the ground. A lot of that needs to just go in the laundries because they need to just be taken out and like looked through so I can fold everything and see what I want to keep and what I want to take out. I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back and then I can actually to go through them and try them on if I need to. And we're gonna refold. We have a lot to go through. I don't have a comment. I can't wear this in the spring or the summer, but in the winter, it's kind of cool. Okay, so these two are cleared out. Everything is on my bed right now. I don't know what that is. I mean, I can't call this an extreme closet clean out if I'm not really gonna do a full extreme closet clean out, right? Like, so we gotta do the full thing, okay. Don't know why I have empty boxes. Does anyone else do this? They just save random empty boxes. Like, I think I'm gonna use them later or I need them for whatever reason. I have more stuff here. Bottom half is cleaned out. So I have like a top half area I need to get rid of. It's like a lot of just like random shoe items that I don't even know if I'd wear again. I'm trying to figure out because because my whole floor is like covered with all my crap. If I should just do this part like 25% and like work in sections because I know I'm gonna do one half but I almost think I should save the shoes for last because that's it's not as complicated to figure out what shoes I want to keep and what shoes I need to get rid of. Doing this in sections will be a little easier to keep track. I don't want to pull everything out and then it's gonna take just literally forever to put everything back. I'll be just gonna get some like cleaner, the vacuum and just wipe everything down and vacuum the bottom half and like the shelving really quickly. I will see you in a moment. I just vacuumed so I'm just going to wipe everything down. Slowly getting closer. Off camera I just did switch over the laundry that I did put in and did grab a couple bags so I'm able to separate the clothes that I am not keeping. This is gonna be a journey, I can already tell. Probably keep it, because I don't have a lot of belts, and I just got rid of one. It's stretchy, so I kind of like that, but it doesn't fit like belt loops so i just don't understand if it's supposed to be like something you put over a dress or a skirt or a jacket like i don't really know but because i am lacking belts and i need another belt i'm just gonna keep this for now i'm unsure about these pants the cargo style utility pants i should say that the brand is old navy in the size 12 regular. I'm gonna try to put them on really quickly just to see what they look like. I feel like they're just like way too big in this area. It's as if they're supposed to be low rise, but then they're too big. I don't know. I like the concept of them. The only way for me to wear these, if I have a proper belt to wear them with. They're cool for photos though, I will say. I feel like I'm gonna have to get rid of these ones. I just don't see myself wearing them. Another pair of pants that I wanted it to fit me because they are such good quality. It's it's from the brand Banana Republic. It's in a size eight, which I thought was gonna fit me. It's that high-waisted type of pants, dress pants. It's got like a wide leg all the way through the whole pants, but it's like that straight boxy looking. So it doesn't give your body any shape and it's just really high-waisted. Does not look good on me. I like mid to low waist, mostly mid waist jeans or pants. And I like how it's fitted in the thigh, mostly of the time and then kind of tapers out. I don't like a huge flare either so it has to be kind of like boot cut. These aren't them but I did try to make them work and they just don't. They don't look good. The only way to look, make them look good is if I wore something like long on top of this. I don't have a lot of that so I'm probably gonna get rid of these because again I tried wearing them. I just I can't make them work and I did try them on the other day to actually wear out and I ended up having to switch these to something similar that fit me a little bit better. I just I can't keep stuff that's gonna be taking up space in my closet that I'm not wearing. These three things I did thrift. I was wearing them as like a baggy fit. They don't adjust in the waist and these do not fit anymore. They're like an olive green and have like some zippers on the sides. Kind of like a cargo but they tapered at the ends. I don't really like the tapered unless they're like 
sweatpants i don't mind that again no use keeping something that doesn't fit you or you don't wear so here's some jeans i do wear from time to time this one's from hollister i think i've had these for probably 10 years but they're in good condition and these are levi's i'm gonna keep these two this is another pair of hollister jeans that i do wear these might be straight leg the ones that are the levi's but the both the hollister pants are the boot cut type of pants i have st john's bay I don't really technically need petites. I'm not super tall, but I'm also not super short either. So these are a little short on me, but I do wear these. They're corduroy. I don't think people are really into corduroy, but I kind of like it. It kind of adds texture to the outfit. They're gray, so they're very neutral and they do go with a lot of things. They're a little big. Again, I have this problem buying clothes and then they don't fit me after a couple months because they get big on me. Either they're just getting stretched out or whatever, but they're the type I have to wear like a belt with it, but they still look okay. So I'm gonna keep these. This is, I think, vintage, like a vintage skirt. I don't know what this brand is. It was made in the USA, so I'm gonna have a strong suspicion, inkling that this is a vintage piece. Oh, it's a size large. It's too big. Almost pleated, but not pleated skater skirt, and it has like a lace detailing on the trim. It has these like big buttons in the front, and it just has like a zipper on the side, but this is gonna have to go. I have mixed feelings on this. I don't mind the top half. It's like a dress, but it's also like a cover up, but it's also like dress thing. Like I don't even know. And it has like ties in the front. I feel like it would be cool for summer just to have. So I might keep this. I was gonna get rid of it, but I don't have anything else that's like this. So I'll probably keep this one. We're gonna put that to the side. I like a lot of like trouser style pants. I don't have a lot. I try to be strategic with the pieces that I do thrift or anything I do buy. It's been a really long time since I've bought anything. These were from the limited. Yeah, size eight. They're like that pinstripe gray charcoal pants that have like a boot cut at the bottom or a flare at the bottom and they fit me literally perfectly. I don't know how. Funny enough, as I was thrifting in the same store, someone donated with this, but they separated it with a matching blazer. This is perfect. I don't think I'd wear this a lot. I definitely like to have this, definitely in my wardrobe. So this was really cool to have. Also by the limited, this was a size 10, but these were perfect. Definitely gonna keep these pants because obviously they're matching with this keep the pants next to each other. I have mixed feelings on these. They're from Tahari. These are a size four, which I'm confused why these would be a size four. They don't seem like a size four. I don't know if that's just a size four in a different sense. Like if they have a different sizing system, I don't, I don't know. I like the men's sizing. It's easier to understand, but it's like a velvet type of dress pants. There's like stuff that gets collected on them really easily. So I almost have to like lint roll these every single time I want to wear them. Wide leg boot cut at the bottom, which I do like. They have the clasp on top and like you zip them up. The only downside to these pants is that they're high-waisted. I wish they were mid-rise instead. I don't find myself wearing these often for the next, you know, six months, but I am gonna hold on to these for now. Adidas sweatpants, but they're the ones that are like cuffed or tapered at the ends. They're in a size extra large, but they look tiny. It says extra large 1820 and they're from 2018, so it's not like they're vintage or anything. So I don't know why they seem small. They're like the only ones that aren't huge on me, so I'm probably gonna keep these. Like my pants that aren't jeans and then the jeans and then sweatpants. Section for the shorts that I have. I have like a ton of random shorts. I have like summer shorts, but those are in like those baskets off to the side that I got out earlier. The exact same thing, but just sweatpants material instead of like the tracksuit. I'll keep them for now because there's a ton of sweatpants I need to get rid of that are just way too big on me that literally I can't fit into. I had to wear one with like a hair tie because they just, I can't adjust them any tighter. I'll just put that there as well. It looks messier than it is, but I did fold it. As you can tell, there's a theme going on. A lot of just dark material in here. That's gonna change though. I'm done trying to buy a lot of black and a lot of brown or like a lot of dark gray. There's just, they've had too much of it. So I got these sweatpants several years ago. They're from Wild Fable, the Target brand, extra, extra large. They're just like way too big. And I have like a knot knotted in here and I can't get it out. Probably gonna go in the bag. I really like these pants. I thrifted these online. I feel like they were like an Amazon pants and someone like bought them and then like tried to resell them. Clearly they sold them because I bought them, but they're from the Love University brand of 3XL. These aren't really a 3XL. I feel like they're in 
in like a different sizing system. These are on its last leg. I do like them for like the summer and replace them with something that's not falling apart. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. They're in the maybe. Probably gonna have to get rid of these as well. Really wanna get rid of these pants because I don't see myself ever wearing these in public unless I have something covering part of the pants because all white pants, the stitching going down the middle of each leg from the brand Soho Apparel, not really made very well. That's like one of my biggest things. I don't like getting pants or any type of article of clothing that isn't made well because they're not gonna last. These are in the size medium. It's almost like a legging material and it does the same thing like tapers out at the end, which I do like, but they are kind of high-waisted. They're literally see-through. I might give it one more chance. I haven't worn these at all and they have like fake pockets on the back. If I don't wear this often in the next year, these are gonna have to go. I'm gonna leave those there because again, I need some lighter articles of clothing in my wardrobe. I don't have a ton. I'm trying to just minimize so it's not overflowing. These are just white shorts, very similar to one of the black shorts. It's a linen material. They are also see-through. I wouldn't use these as actual shorts. I'd probably just use it as a beach cover-up. A lighter option when I do want to wear something that's not completely black, like most of my closet, as you can tell. I think because they were a little too big, so I had to roll them under and the tag would have shown, so I ripped the tag off. I think I got them in like a size medium. I'm gonna keep these for now and see if I wear them throughout the summer. Getting pretty full, so I just wanna see what else I have and if I need to get rid of anything. I have these, these are from Club Room in size small. I think they're men's, but I really liked them. Like pajama bottoms, a classic tartan. But I feel like you could dress these up too. I don't know if I'm that daring, but I feel like someone could do that. Put those there for now. I might have to rearrange or put more on a different shelf. Also Adidas track pants in the size medium. They're from 2014. I like how I'm able to adjust them with the jawstring. I'm going to keep these. I don't know why I have so many Adidas pants. They're from the brand Mimoy. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Mimoy, Mimo. Couldn't tell you. In the size medium large, but they're just these like velvet floral pants. Legging style. And I have worn these recently and I've had them for a little bit. So I am going to keep these for now until they fall apart on me. Also something I'd wear in the summer. I just got these not that long ago from the brand New York Clothing Co. They almost look like something you would sleep in, but I feel like you could dress these up as well. They have like a fake tie in the front, which I don't find useful. What do you do with that? They're like the stripes that go all the way down vertically, kind of have a wide leg at the end. I think they're good for the summer, so I'm gonna keep these. Uh, they're the Champion Authentic Extra Large Sweatpants. These have to go. Put these in the bag. This is what I was saying. I literally had a hair tie tied to these sweatpants because they're so big. I think these are in an extra large from the men's section too. They're still in like fine condition, but they're just way too big. And these have like the zippers at the ends. And I don't like how the jawstring is like this weird like loop. Like what do you do with that? I never understood that. I don't know why I bought these, but I've had them for a while. I'm gonna put these off to the side, but I'm probably gonna have to get rid of these. See like this is filled to the top. I can't go any higher. This space has opened up and we need to put more stuff here, but I'm able to sort out the clothes that I'm just aren't working anymore. I got my laundry that was in the dryer and I'm gonna go through to see if there was any other pants I need to go through. Even the pants I'm wearing, I'm getting rid of because I think there's holes in them and I just like, we need to not do that. These are a pair of Nike dry fit pants in the size medium and they have a jawstring and like a stretchy waistband. Have that wide leg, a weird lining in the leg, kind of like a windbreaker material on the thicker side. And I think they have a zipper on the ends of the pants. I do like these it's getting pretty dense in here. What I'm gonna do is take the leggings, the thinner material pants, put them underneath the shorts so I can like rearrange everything. feel like that's a little bit better. I still have a little bit of room. These are the dress pants that I picked over those wide leg Banana Republic dress pants. Funny enough, I got these for a dollar at a thrift store. The brand is Star City in the size five. 
so i'm guessing these are juniors i'm not really sure but size five they have pockets in the back pockets in the front these are like my go-to dress pants i guess i could color code this but a lot of it's black so i don't really see the difference or the point of that i feel like that's like too in depth these are another pair of jeans i do wear quite often they're also another levi jean 505 straight in the size 29 again these are a little too big for me i don't know why but i still wear them i just have to wear a belt with them but i do like how they're the dark wash like a straight leg on the bottom and i haven't had like a true dark wash pair of jeans in a while but i almost want them to shrink i don't need them to get any looser so i'm gonna keep these i've really downsized my jean collection because i haven't been able to find like a true pair of jeans that i really like so i try to not have too many the last sweatpants i'm keeping are from airy they're in a size large i wish i had them in a size medium they do have the jawstring kind of an elastic waistband so I'm able to tie them a little bit tighter and I can roll them down if I want to. The only other thing that I don't like about them is that they're really flared. Some people like them really flared. These are a little too flared for me. I do like this like kind of heather gray type light gray color and they're very soft. I'm going to keep these. I got them in the last year. That is all I can fit in this section but that's like pretty much it that I will be keeping for pants. I think everything else this stuff I'm probably just gonna have to get rid of. I don't see how I can keep it if they're falling apart they're too big so I'm probably gonna put these in a bag while we're here and I'm in that like mood to like throw things out or get rid of things I'm just gonna go through a couple of things that I haven't worn yet or I'm just I'm not gonna wear they're the dicky overalls these would have been so cool but they're way too big and someone cut them on the bottom I don't know something's going on on this side those need to be fixed I'm gonna put them on right now I'm not taking my sweatpants off for these because I'm way too big that it doesn't even make a difference if I have sweatpants on or not. I thrifted these without trying them on because it was a thrift store. You can't really try them on and I was not gonna do a whole thing where I was gonna try these on in the store in front of people. It would have been too much of a process. I knew you would take these off to put them on and I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Way too long for whoever had these first and they cut them so now they look like high waters on me. I don't know how short you could be. I'm 5'4". Like I need to fix this. I don't know what happened. We're just gonna forget about this part. This part looks cool. I just have to fix this. The inseam's way too low. And I know they're like crisscrossed. I'm not gonna fix that. I wanna find overalls that like look cool, but these just don't. These are gonna have to go, unfortunately. Never wore them. I've had them for about eight months. After I took these off, I tried checking to see if there was any size information. It just says, obviously, that they're Dickies denim overalls. I think these are definitely men's size overalls. Clearly, these are denim, but there's no any information on the sizing. I don't know who's gonna work well with these. Usually, if you cut them and they look like like this it doesn't look bad but i don't think these could have been saved would have been cool but i think i could probably find something better that fits me i try to go outside the box sometimes sometimes it doesn't pay off i tried i tried with these i don't it is what it is you'll notice in the next one this would have been cool too is a long denim maxi and it goes like all the way down it's like a medium wash denim i tried with this i just can't pull this off the brand is studio ease clothing company it's in a size 10 for me it's not huge on me but it's a thinner denim it is 100% cotton it is breathable if you wanted to layer underneath it and it has this like button closure at the top it's like a scoop neck again it looks cool from here up you'll understand like what i'm talking about i'm sure someone could pull it off fortunately it's not gonna be me pulling this one off maybe i'm just not styling it correctly or it's just a little too big in the waist as you can tell it goes literally almost to my ankles but it's not all the way to my ankles I would say it's like in my at my low shin area. So it's at that weird mark. It's like a maxi, but it's also a high water moment. I don't know. It's also like the same vibe with the Dickies overalls. At least this wasn't cut. So it's just meant to be whoever can fit in this. Maybe it's like something I'd have to wear like in the fall time or autumn time. It would look maybe a little bit better. This might just be because it's out of my comfort zone personally and I haven't worn it. So I'm on the fence about it, but it's probably gonna have to go. Yeah, it's just a little too too big i don't have any shape and because i'm not tall but i'm also not completely super short it just makes me feel like when things aren't fitted it just looks more distorted on me i don't know maybe that's just me and i'm like seeing it differently but i guess wouldn't be bad i don't want it super tight on me either i'm probably gonna have to get rid of this 
I have this problem where I either buy something that either doesn't fit me because it gets too big on me or I buy clothes thinking, okay, it's a little smaller so I'll be able to fit into it and then it doesn't. This is one of them. It's a really cool dress. I do like the color. It's like this brown color. It's by Warehouse in the size 8, 36, 8, which I thought I was like, I'm a size 8 so I should be able to fit into this. So I think it's one of those weird sizings where it's actually smaller than it is. It might just be like a true size 8 and I'm not a true size 8. So I don't like women's sizing. I feel like it's hard to understand. But it has like a side zip. It's another weird short length on me. Like it's not like a maxi length or a mid length. But I like how it's like it tapers in the middle and then it goes all the way out. So I don't know what to do with this or I'll find someone who fits into this a lot better but I do like how it has like the lace on the trim two-toned it has like the little like sequin along the edges with other lace detailing I need stuff that fits me I can't keep stuff that doesn't this is just a black bodysuit. Not the best material, but I used to wear it a lot. I don't think it would fit me anymore. I'm not gonna even try it on. I don't really wear a ton of bodysuits anymore. In a size large, I believe. I don't even think it has material information on it, but this is gonna have to go as well. Another bodysuit I did get a couple years ago is also a velvet type of material. It's by the brand Mason Jewels in a size large. It's got like that low neckline that like crisscrosses. I think this would be like too big on me now. I wouldn't see myself wearing this. I'm just gonna put it off to the side, but I probably won't be keeping this. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Clearly you can tell I had a weird flannel collection. I think there's another one off to the side somewhere. I feel like it's a nostalgia thing, but also I need to know if I need to part with these. I'm not sure. They have like some cool colors. Those flannels are mostly oversized, so it's something I layer in. I'm gonna take them out of my closet so I'm able to clear everything out and I'm able to see if I'm gonna keep any of this or not. Everything else over there is just basically crewnecks that I need to go through and a couple jackets, but I'm just, I just took out most of the stuff that I'm pretty much probably gonna get rid of on that side. Crewnecks might be getting rid of as well because I just don't wear them anymore, but I don't want to get carried away on that side when that's not really my focus at the moment. It's this. So I'm gonna go through all the tops that I need to get rid of or keep and I like vertical lines more than horizontal, but this is by the brand Prana or Prana 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 in the size small. It's like this brown toned with white horizontal lines going through it. I'm pretty sure this was in the men's section. It has reverse stitching on the outside. It's all throughout the whole shirt. I wear stuff underneath it and it's good quality so I'm gonna keep this for now. That's another theme you'll see. It doesn't matter what kind of clothing is geared towards. It could be men's, women's, or it's just somewhere in between. If I like it, then I'll get it. I don't really care about where it's from. I will put the long sleeves over here because so I'm probably not going to reach for it as much anymore because it's getting warmer. Like shorts and like tank tops and then like thicker material goes further out. I did do a couple things off camera. I ended up putting these baskets back with like my socks and stuff. I wanted to speed up the process and just put those away. And I did add a couple other like t-shirts, very similar, or the tank top very similar. I have this button up from Tommy Bahama. It's in a 3XL because I wanted it like like super oversized. Now I just like don't wear it. I think it would like look pretty for like the summer but I'm over like the oversized and I want more fitted and this is just way too big. I don't think I can make this look decent. Like I know it's wrinkly because it hasn't been on a hanger. I do have something kind of similar but not the exact same but I would like to find something a little bit more fitted. So I'm going to get rid of this. This was another thing I had that from Eddie Bauer. It's an XXL, 100% cotton, but it gives that like linen essence sheer three quarter sleeve shirt. And I did wear this quite a lot. I'm going to get rid of it. It just doesn't fit me correctly anymore. So this is going as well. I think from H&M, it's the It Chapter 2 hoodie. I believe this was in the men's section too, extra large and has this graphic on the back. I like it. It was pretty expensive for H&M. I feel like it was like $30, $40 or $35 for the sweatshirt. I might keep it. I don't know. I know it's gonna be super oversized. Fun fact, I do like horror movies. I mean, It Chapter 2 is not my favorite horror movie, but I did like the graphic on the back. I wish it was on the front. I don't know. I can't keep everything, so we're just gonna put it off to the side for now. I found a couple of the shorts that I was like talking about. These, I think, were from Ardeen. I didn't really care for the distressed look. It's in the size 3, but I don't believe that. Regular 
rise, but to me, these are high rise. They're not my like exact favorite, but I don't have a lot of shorts and I know it's gonna get warm soon. I'm just gonna put them on top of the other jeans that I have. The pair of shorts that I do have is these light wash ones. These are also high rise, but they have a little bit more stretch to them. And they do have a little bit of like distressing on the legs. The wash isn't my favorite, but at least they look a little different from the other ones. So I'm gonna keep these as well. Another one I was talking about is an oversized linen button up shirt. For the summer, I was trying to, but then I did way oversized. The brand is Elephant's Tango. It's 100% linen, 3XL. It just doesn't really work well because I know I can find better replacements. I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit me. I don't know. Like I knew there was a vision, but it's just, it's not this one. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this as well, unfortunately. This I thrifted in person. It's this mid length dress and it has ties to go around the waist. I'm going to keep this just because I don't have anything like it in my closet. So once I make a little bit more progress, I'll check back in after I do a little bit more because I still have a ton of clothes everywhere and I need to speed up this process. So it's technically a different day. Did a few things off camera when I said I like needed to try to speed this up, but there's still plenty of things I need to do. I still need to go through the shoes and this portion I did rearrange and put back up, but there is a lot of coats that I did put together that I do need to go through and put back. I'm a little over halfway done. Let's continue with this disaster of a closet cleaning mess. I need it done by today. So I have an overflow of books that I need to take out. I'm just gonna do that so there is more of a clear space to put more clothes because that was one of my bigger offenders is just that I had a lot of books overflowing. I didn't know where to put them. So I put them in my closet and made like a makeshift shelf. Looks like I have some binders and notebooks I need to get out of this closet as well. Does not need to be in here, only clothes need to be in here. That opened up a big space that I can now put more of my clothes in. I did keep the flannel collection. I just feel like I've gotten rid of a lot. So there's only like a handful left that I still have. And down here, which you can't tell, but these were the ones that are the coats that I'm gonna put back in the closet. I just basically sectioned it off and just put it in one of the baskets so I can put them back when I was able to film. So we're gonna do that as well. Some of it is kind of color coded, some of it's not, but I have have a few of my hoodies that I have some jackets that need to still be hung up so I'm gonna try to fit them in there somewhat color-coded at least for the coats because there's less coats in here than clothes I kind of just did that subconsciously I'm gonna try to just start with the jackets and then if I have room for the hoodies then I'll put those in as well I just took out a sweatshirt that was in there because I think I'm gonna have a little bit more coats to go through. I need to buy new hangers. This is just not working. They're all mismatched and they're falling apart. For whatever reason, I only have two more hangers left. I think a couple broke in the process of me trying to get stuff out, where they were already broken to begin with and they ended up snapping off. I'm probably gonna use the baskets down below for some of the jackets I do wear on a more daily basis, like the fleece zip-ups or the, like the lighter jackets or the sweatshirt. This is the sweater I wore the other day. I think the only stuff I would fold are the tank tops, the basic t-shirts, a basic long sleeve that is thin enough that I can fold. But if it's a little thicker, something that is gonna take up a lot more room that just can't be folded, needs to be hung, then I'm going to do that. I know this isn't the right way to hang clothes. I don't have a lot to work with. I wish I had more hangers. I don't know what happened to them. This isn't really color coded. Maybe that's something I can do later on, but just wanna get some clothes up there and try to get some stuff out of the baskets that I have. I need to see what I can keep, what I need to get rid of, and what needs to be hung up. I tried to do a lot of the basic clothing, the basic that I do wear. Actually, these would've went well with the pants. 
Like that's probably thin enough to fold, but I find that anything that's not like a basic or something more ca like if it's casual, be folded. If it's something that has a little bit more texture to it or like is more of a statement piece, and they're not really statement pieces, but you get what I'm saying, like that will be folded. A lot of this, honestly, could probably get rid of. I'm just gonna say a lot of this is just not a wardrobe material but i'm trying to just i'm just trying to work with what i have because i'm not trying to go on a spree of buying an abundance of clothing and i already have an abundance of clothing even though it feels like i have nothing to wear i'm trying to just wear the clothes that i have in a different way which is kind of hard when a lot of the clothes look like they're from circa 2012 or 2014 which they kind of are or they just look like they are if i had clothes coming in and that might be something I might do but slowly where I'm actually intentionally picking pieces that would replace something that is just either not fitting anymore just isn't the style anymore for me then it would be like more of a slow transition than just like an extreme like I'm getting rid of all of it where I am getting rid of a good amount of my clothes I just still need to have clothes in my closet to work with in the meantime before I can actually replace some of the clothing that I am looking to probably get rid of when um, I've given it a chance. I feel like putting the, the light colors or the white in the front would probably be better. I'm just gonna do that really quick before I add anything else. It's not perfect. Clearly the back portion, this portion over here needs to be kind of rearranged, but I think it looks a little bit better. I can actually see like, do I want to go for a lighter or darker? And having the lighter in the front kind of helps because again, I have a lot of dark pieces in my wardrobe and it's hard to find something that's lighter. So now I can like fully see that. I don't know why I still have this. I don't, I feel like I wear it once a year. It's like a makeshift corset top with like spaghetti straps. I like the gold accent on it. It's from Forever 21. I want to say I got this probably seven years ago. Not in like the recent time. Let me know if I should keep this. Probably not. Found another windbreaker jacket, but I don't think I'm going to have any room down there because again, I only have like two more hangers left. I think right now I'm just gonna try to separate all the hoodies from the clothes. So that's probably gonna have to be separated for now. But this is like another thing I've like attempted to wear and I've worn briefly, but not fully. It's another weird neckline. I don't know what's up with the weird necklines, why I gravitate towards them. It's also kind of like a structured top, almost not corset like, but kind of. It's cool looking. It's like a green color. It's got lace detailing and some beaded like pearl like esque by Waters and Waters. I still want to attempt to wear this, so we're gonna try that. We shall see. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I found a, like, sheer top. So a lot of the rest of the stuff is really miscellaneous. I'm thinking I'm just gonna section everything out really quickly off camera because it's a lot of just like swimwear, swimsuit, beach cover-ups, and some stuff that's like falling apart that I need to get rid of. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly. I'm gonna move on to the shoes because I need to figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. I was able to rearrange a lot of the shoes. I kind of switched it around, cleaned off the shelving. I don't have a lot on that side. I kind of just kept it as is just because that one box does have shoes in them and it just like protects it. So I'm just gonna leave it. These two are like the only thing that I do have to go through. I was able to try to put up a lot of like the jackets I wanted to, but I don't have a lot of hangers. So a lot of my sweatshirts and light zip ups are in here. And then this is just miscellaneous t-shirts and some socks I need to go through to see if I want to keep them but basically this is pretty much how I would have my closet I would say this is pretty much it. I was able to get a lot of it cleaned up. I'm happy with the result. I have a couple bags of clothes that this is another one that I'm having to get rid of. I'm gonna be donating a lot. Anything that was below in the basket, I'm just gonna have to do off camera. I don't think any of that is really exciting. This was pretty much how I wanted it to look. I would one day like to have my shoes on the bottom. I need to invest in so I have more shelves to put clothes on that's one thing but i guess this is just a closet clean out a 
reorganization of my wardrobe with the stuff that I have and not trying to buy anything or try to add anything to it, just use what I have. But maybe in the future I could invest and that would actually help maximize the space of my closet. I can't believe I was able to get this all done in a matter of a couple days. It really was needed, it was really necessary, and hopefully this helps you or inspires you or gets some ideas to do that as well and clean out your closet. Hopefully yours isn't as bad as mine. I feel like if you break it up into sections, regardless of how intense or messy your closet or your space is, it's definitely doable and don't feel like you're gonna be super overwhelmed with getting it all done in one sitting or one go. That's it's definitely not as realistic depending on the situation, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.